Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in the classic that is Detroit, which you can download for free from Abandonia.com, I think it is. And um, yeah, well, just search for Detroit and Abandonware and you will find it. Uh, no one really has its grips on this one any longer and you can just get it as you require DOSBox to play it. Very easy to set up though. Um, in DOSBox, you basically just type in you, mu you mount your C drive as the game folder you have put it into, extracted it into, and then you just type Detroit and it launches. And it works because DOSBox is pretty awesome. So uh, today we shall continue. We are just one and a half year into this this playthrough of the classic Detroit but there was much to talk about and figure out at the start and now I think it will be smooth sailing we just got uh, we just got air-cooled engines so I think we need to update our designs and take a look here research new parts open research panel um, suspension air-cooled we do want to to why why doesn't clicking work here ah okay i had mm, yes that's good to know if you uh in case you wonder what happened there uh because i was alt tabbing out of it before uh, it kind of got stuck and my left mouse button didn't work on all things anymore uh, seems to be a weird weird little bug which they obviously didn't think about in that context uh or maybe it's a dos box issue i don't know anyway so we can don't really need more cooling. Next would be water cooling, I guess. So free them all. Free the masses. Let's put them into safety. Uh, do we need safety? We need luxuries. Yes. Uh, a sign. Everyone needs luxuries. There we go. And I really would like to have a few more technicians. Uh, let's increase their va wage and see if we get a few more. Or uh, higher or four and assign them or uh, we want to assign them to suspension exactly and then we need to uh, design our our luxury vehicle adapt our luxury vehicle better better said so design a car model let's see how that worked um let's make the front different it's new yes let's make it larger and the rear can also be larger and then we uh where where do we part part oh yes here it is part suspension no suspension there okay air cooled yes we air cool the engine so that we get all the power but now the the car is new let's see how do we get back here right click okay right click it is and no it doesn't have anything so that didn't obviously didn't get through um how do we choose it detail Air cooled, done. Yes. Um, luxury view. Done. Safety view. Nothing. Body view. Ah, okay. We get back like this. Yeah. Now it's air cooled. And now this is all, all perfectly fine. So now we need to make it. I guess. Uh, do we need to make it? It's the Vela. Oh no! It deleted everything. So it's the Vela MK2. Uh, confirm build car, yes. And we, oh yes, now, no! <laughs> That's probably the part you all remember vividly. We need to test our car. It's just like an automation. But even crazier, even crazier. You see the car on the test track, guys! You fully see it! It's almost like driving it yourself! Can we run it? Hello? Ah yes, there it goes. Oh, the acceleration! Well, that would actually be pre, pretty strong acceleration. I don't think it actually accelerates that fast. Uh, braking is accurate. And grip is, is is as you expect. And seating. Let's get all the seating. Come on. Four. Five. Yes, yeah, six. Six people. And cargo 20. And it gets about five miles before dying. 93.64%. I don't know how they calculate that score. It's completely ridiculous and and weird. Uh, yeah, but, but this is done. Leave design. Yes, we're done. I think. Uh, let's hope this design actually is there now. Next. 
Oh, there's the Vela. Okay, Vela Mark II. So we have to switch all the car bodies and... Hmm, do we want to... Maybe we want to sell the old one and the new one for more. Uh, let's see if that works. Maybe we can do that. We need to hire a few more people then though. Uh, hire 60 more, maybe? So, Mega Menu and the Valor Mark II. Uh, do we want to switch those out for the Mark II? And then we put in... Uh, yeah, let's put in 30 here. Might, we might overproduce this stuff. Uh, model, just a normal Vela. Use... Yeah, I'm not so confident in, in this. Uh, maybe we can assign 10 more workers each. Oh, that was 19 because I couldn't read it. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so dark. This is so dark. Free nine workers. Can I hit the nine button? Yes, I can. All right. So slightly more production here now. And this one isn't assigned anywhere. Can we... Ah, oh, that is because we don't have any prices set. Okay, uh, model. So model price. Let's make this 950 because it's so upgraded and awesome. So we sell this one for 950. And this one still has a sales price, but we do need to change it in Europe, I think. Because that is our special case where we want to have more for it. Oh, let's go into detail here. 950. This is 950. So let's make this one 1050. There we go. Awesome. And supply line. Yeah, let's all set. Okay, cool. That worked uh, pretty easily. Nicely done, developers. Okay, let's return. <laughs> That's so weird that it that it is called return to main menu. That always makes makes me think like, okay, exit exit the current game and get to the game main menu. But no, they actually mean this main screen. Uh, that is weird. Back, they should have probably have called it, which also also would be shorter, back to HQ or something like that. Uh, but, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I did fit it anyway. So how much are we going to lose this month? Uh, 19,000 we have gained. That's less gains than before. Are we overproducing massively? Let's take a quick look by model. So we are selling everything of the Vela Mark II. Oh, that's impressive. Building 57 of it. And the Vela? Oh, we are overproducing the Vela. Okay. Hey, that can be easily changed with the MAGA menu. The MAGA menu. Wh whose idea was it to call this the MAGA menu? Uh, it's... yeah. In automation we have the Terra menu. And Soon in in the Unreal version we will have the Peter menu. No, no, not the Peter menu. They they will they will lynch us for violating animals or something. Uh, we shall let's uh, let's take a look in the Mega menu. Uh, we do need more Vela Mark IIs. So model Vela Mark II use. Ah oh, yeah, so things are going well. Uh, but let's check the administration if more technical stuff has shown up. Uh, yes, technicians. Hire all of them. We need more research uh, tech. Let's assign them all to luxuries. Oh, yes. Even more sales here. This is going well. Uh, maybe we need to open another office in southwest US. I can easily do that. And probably we should look into marketing a little bit more as well. Do we have some kind of mega menu for this as well? I don't think we have. So this is magazines, sports, billboards, and... Uh, okay, magazines, newspapers. Do we have to do this for everything? I, I don't think we have to, right? So marketing list. Oh no. H how do you do that to be, to be efficient? This looks crazy. Don't want to put it everywhere. Oh, let's spend $250 here. Uh, next, uh, southeast, um, 100. Next, uh, northwest. Uh, northwest. That is where we are. No, that's the uh, 
the other one. So just 100 there as well, I guess. Um, let's do 150. Next one, Northern Europe, yeah, 150. And Northeast, yeah, that's, that's too little. Okay, next. That's all done. Done. Cool. And now magazines. Newspapers, um, like 200. That's southwest. That's the big one. Southeast is the small one. Uh, northwest is the small one. Northern Europe is small. And northeast is large. So 250 here as well. Okay, yeah, that's the biggest. That should be plenty of ads. Uh, let's see if we sell even more now. Or we lose more money because of all the ads. Oh, someone else is doing remarkably well. But we are too. 30k. That's amazing. Maybe I should put a little bit in the bank. Seems to be a good, good thing to do. Uh, having it lying around like this doesn't help us. And we don't have any investments planned for now. Interest is 1% and they, <laughs> they land at 11. <laughs> What the hell? That doesn't seem quite right. Oh, 60 new technical staff. Yeah, hire them all. We are doing remarkably well as well as our competitors are, it seems. I do want to see some stats now, though, for sales prices and shit. So, model. Let's, pr let's compare here. We are completely selling out of the Valor Mark II. Mm, and the Melamark, Melamark one, yeah, about producing parity. Not quite that good, but me, yeah, it's decent enough. Um, we can put another Melamark two into uh, into one of the lines. I think we have one empty. Well, let's do this. All right, here we go. Thirty-five workers, additional on the Melamark two. Um, maybe that goes a long way and I still haven't checked the pricing of our competitors generate reports compare models and we want to compare to oh that's northern, northern Europe it's interesting 1000 they're all in the thousands so we are the cheapest uh, and 1100 oh yeah we're the cheapest here as well that's that's great oh shit they are having a decent profit. That's pretty big. What are they doing? We are producing the most cars, though. That's interesting to know. Good. Um, Sub-level system. Everyone is air-cooled. Yeah, it is. All right. No one has any kind of advantage just yet. Oh, nice. They have 32. Is that a two? That's so... <laughs> that's one of the big mysteries to me like how much have they actually thought about uh, or did they have to think about readable text and how they had to shorten things so that they can get the maximum size out of their fonts so that they are remotely readable in in such a poor resolution that must have been pretty terrible because it's so limiting Now we are still trucking along at a nice profit of 21,000 each month. And what is our competition doing? Uh, compare uh, model comparison. Uh, they have lowered their prices once again, but we are all good. Yeah, we're in the middle of the bunch here. That's Northern Europe, Northeastern US. Yeah, also perfectly priced, slightly undercutting them. And I don't know if there's any info coming up once you have researched that. I've, I've forgotten about that. It's too long ago since I played this the last time. Uh, so I, I now go in here and watch it for uh, far too many times just to keep up with, with it and see if uh, I have new tech available. Because that might be a good way of getting ahead of your competition. Our research department is growing rapidly. That's quite a, kind of ridiculous. Look at that. 10k a month. That's a big part.
Oh, look at that! Hey, soon you will be able to see bumpers in most cars, but then again, did I research that ahead of time? Or does everyone have that now? Because I did put people into safety after all. Uh, let's take a look here. No, not marketing concepts. Um, where's research? There. So I put it into safety, but oh, no, that was uh, just recently I put it in there. So no, I wouldn't have gained any kind of advantage. Yes, uh, I shall update my models to reflect this change. So how did we do that? Design a car model. Um, so we go here and then part. I think we can choose something here now. Cooling, handbrake, safety. Safety plus. Yay, bumper. So we could update this one completely um, or not. So now it only has the safety. Body, is this counting as a new one? Looks like it. Yeah, let's let's make a new one based on this this kind of design. So let's just make a new one here, straight up. Uh, front, large, large front, middle with many people in there, this one, and the rear with lots of cargo. There we go. Oh, this is the big one, yes. And now we can put the parts into it engine still only have the inline four handbrake cooling suspension still no suspension unfortunately our researchers need to hurry up a little bit and done do we have to actually assign that details bumpers done use ah oh, you have to press use ah oh, fuck okay um so now that's good body are we actually using it bumpers yay safety and make, I guess. Make it. Car type. Um, car type is... Isn't that already luxury type? Type. Sports car. Family sedan. Luxury. What was that? Luxury car. Yes. Luxury car. Uh, now make. This is the Vela Mark III. Yes, we want to build the car and we need to test it all. I wonder how the testing costs can be that that high. Ah, no, I, I guess. I guess if they are destroying like three or four cars in the process, then yeah. Oh, that's such a shame that all these supreme animations are all the same for basically everything. There's no variation in them uh, until you get... Oh shit, this is actually a bad car. What's going on here? Why, why only f seating four while the other one is seating more? Um, something has gone wrong here. Let's uh, let's go back and modify it if possible. Uh, done. Leaf design? No, not quite. Ah, fuck. How how do we how do we get back here? I want to change this one. Why is it so shit? Uh, previous. Oh, it had the do little door there. This one doesn't. Okay. Middle? Is it rear? Oh, it doesn't help. So it must be in the middle part. Ah, oh, come on, where is it? Previous? So this is that one. So middle 10, rear 22. Are there 22? 22 different ones? No, there are not. Uh, how do you... Are these the sports cars or something? Body? Body style too? Ah, okay. Uh, there we have... There we have some... Some peculiar choices. Okay. So that is a different style of body, but where's the difference really? Can we make it larger? Oh yes, there we go. Much larger. And the middle, six. Oh, look at all the luxury. Ha! Huh. Oh, this one will be amazing. So, we make this one. This is the Valor Mark III, yes. Replace car, yes. And test all. Spending another 2,000 just to test this shit. 
There we go, six people. And 92%, ah, oh, much better. Now we just need to make sure that actually everything is in here. So we do have <coughs> the Velomark 2. The Velomark 3 is here as well. Updated with uh, modern safety equipment, uh, front bumpers. So in true Detroit fashion, I think uh, with the design now fully done, uh, <laughs> already after three seconds of designing, no consideration for how to produce it and nothing, we can put it into production. Which is awesome. So let's put the car into production. Oh, it's idle. All right, let's uh, free it all up and get rid of the original Vela. Uh, so stop here. Yes, and we want to assign the model Vela Mark III. Use... Uh, what? Choose territories. I don't know what's going on here right now. What? Why? Why do I have to select this now? I don't get what they what they even want from me. Toggle territory. Why, why do I need to choose these? And why do they cost anything? Because I seem to be getting around it. Like what's what's going on here? A sign? No, that's that's just this. All right. And free the model change model of the line. It's idle. And it's stopped. Yeah, this the line is stopped. Alright. So if we assign it. No. Not the workers. The model. Why does it want to have this? Total charge. It didn't require that before, did it? So I just press escape and then nothing happens. So, and the model is assigned. And they didn't ask that model. Uh-huh, okay. That's really strange. Use the Mark II. Use the Mark II here. Maybe because I stopped them and they have to get rolling again? But then why is the question there for which territory you want? That doesn't make any sense, does it? So we assign 35 to everything. Alright, so now, uh, we have to... Hmm, all cars? What, all cars? All car prices percent? No, done. Uh, we do want to get rid of this one. Maybe we still have a few in stock. Okay, so I think I have everything set up. And I hope it works. I hope it works. Let's end the month and just see if everything expl explodes or not. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Haven't we been selling luxury cars all along? I thought they were they were all luxury cars. Will there be a market for it? But what was it? A family sedan which we sold before? Uh, okay, I I may have been blind and we just sold a family sedan all the time. And now, all of a sudden, we are making a luxury car. Oh, it says Vela Mark II Luxury. Those are the luxury components. And it is a family sedan. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And this is a luxury car. Alright. So, we do need the old one and can sell it next to uh, the new one. And this also means that we really have to take a look at if we actually can sell those. The Vela has sold out. The Vela Mark II... What? Has lots of stock. Built 40. Okay. And here... Oh, we are selling pretty well. Pretty well. Still lots of stock, of course. Uh, so, slight overproduction. About one line of overproduction, I would say. Roughly speaking, yes, one line of overproduction. Maybe we should just fire a few workers. Um, we raised the factory level. Yep, it's looking good. And now let's get rid of a few lines. <laughs> this kind of reminds me, like this clicking around, hitting stuff on your keyboard and like, typing values. This reminds me so much of 
people asking us in development, why can't you add keyboard input? It reminds me of this shit. It's like, oh no, no, stop it. If you have to put in stuff via keyboard, then you're doing something wrong from the start. And pointing that out is kind of valid because there might be problems where you actually would want to do that and stuff. So it's, it's not really user friendly in that sense. But uh, yeah, not always fun to do it. You feel like an accountant instead of a someone who plays a game. Um, so far so good though. Let's uh, continue selling shit. And can we get rid of this one? I think we have to delete it from the slot. And that gets rid of this one. Like in the design screen, if we delete it, if we have no more, uh, no more stock, then this one disappears. That's all good. Okay. Um, so now, let's take a look at our competition, if they also have a luxury car. So, Vela Mark II. No one. Okay, no one has any competitor here. We are the first. Yay. And we can up the Vela Mark II price, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty solid. Okie dokie, let's uh, end this and speed through a little bit. Maybe a sign of... Oh shit, that looks like massive overproduction. What has happened? Something has, going, has been going wrong here. Severely. Looks like south... the southwest? They should have sold many more. What is going on here? Oh shit. Oh shit. Was that a price increase that did this? Velomark 3. Velomark 2 is just selling uh, nothing? Why aren't they selling in the other regions? Um uh, that is not good. Houston, we have a problem. Um what is going on here? Can you can you tell me? So model Vela Mark II. Maybe it's too expensive. I wouldn't think it is. Let's put them down a little bit again in price and see what happens if it was just the pricing that was the problem. Nah, not really. We are not selling anything in the southwest. Why? Why, game? Give me some information. Uh, market, territory... Market by territory. Okay, north, southwest. Uh, what? No, that's marketing by, by territory. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, more more reports. Market <laughs> market territory. Mark market by territory. That doesn't sound like marketing. Um, profits, production, sales. It really looks like they are only trying to sell the. Vela Mark II in northeastern USA. Why? All right, let's let's check it out. If they're actually trying to sell it here, um, so list. Uh, that doesn't doesn't help. Detail? No, they are trying to sell it here. Supply line? None. Why is there none? Why is the supply line set to none? That's stupid. Supply line? Okay, that's set up. Exit. Done. And what about here? Okay, yeah, that was the problem. So the supply lines weren't set up. I thought the uh, the setting the price actually does that. But no, it doesn't. So that, that explains quite a lot. That's just make this right okay now it's all set up i think yeah that should be good now let's see if we are back into profits now oh yeah 40,000. <laughs> that's more like it that is much more like it oh yay we are the first with the safety look at it it's amazing our cars are so safe and i think this is a good spot to uh, end this second episode of uh, us playing the Ultimate Classic Detroit. 
And uh, I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.